Hey everybody, welcome back to another gameplay video. I've got a very interesting plug and play today. Um, it's a multi game plug and play. It's the Game Essentials Games Explosion plug and play 121 in one. And it, this looks very promising um, compared to some of my other plug and plays that I played. Um, kind of like Lexi Book and um, Dream Gear, but looks like there's going to be a little bit different lineup. I've kind of previewed a few of these games, so we're going to go ahead and go through this one at a time for the first time. Some I will discover, just as you will. Um, I want to thank Mr. C. Thank you very much for this generous gift. So far, it's very awesome. Looks very promising. Uh, we'll take a look at the controller. Kind of looks like a uh, kind of a weird Sega six-button type of controller. Two buttons at the top are your reset button, so it goes right back to the title screen, or the menu screen, if you will. On and off switch at the bottom. Uh, you got your start and select buttons in the middle, very yellow. Um, X, Y, Z, A, B, and C at the bottom. It's kind of kind of like a layout, like a almost like a Nintendo 64 layout, where two buttons are bigger, uh, and the four C buttons are like right there. And you got your D-pad. D-pad feels pretty good. Feels like it's gonna um, uh, pretty good uh, play gameplay wise. So and it takes three three double uh, triple A batteries. Excuse me, three triple A batteries. Let's go ahead and jump into the games and try this out. Uh, starting with number one, Sky Zone. Go ahead and jump right into that game. Oh wow, look at that! Brand new. Uh, looks very interesting. I uh, have of, of all my plug and play travels, especially with Lexi Book and uh, Dream Gear and Scenario, what have you. Uh, this looks different, different enough. I might have played something very similar to this um, on one of my plug and plays. Ah! Oh man, <laughs> this is it's crazy. A little side scroller. Looks pretty cool though. This might be something I might have to play on a gameplay spotlight just to see how far I can get. Again, pretty interesting. Um, oh man! Uh, I would do, like to do a definitely would like to do a dedicated separate playthrough of this just to see where we can get on it. Got you. Got a jump button. Looks like um, that's the only button that works. Is jump. There's no fire button or anything. There is a turbo button. The X button on this controller seems to be a turbo. Whoa! But uh, whoa! Classic character there. Uh, a future franchise, if you will. All right. Um. Well, it's like am I repeating? Oh, I just got uh, watered on. Very interesting. But yeah, it looks like it's kind of repeating a little bit, or I might might be mistaken. Well, no, that's a new enemy. Again, again, I wouldn't mind doing a separate uh, gameplay of this. So that was Sky Zone number one, game number one on this plug and play. Let's see, we're gonna have problems with the signal today. Nope. There we go. Lightning is next. Interesting. You can tell. I can tell. Some of the music sounds so familiar to the previous plug and plays. But it's different. It's very different. So let's go ahead and this game is like a uh, triple action type of game for in television. Kind of reminds me of that at first glance. Kind of avoid the cars. Oh, all right. That uh, weird vehicle you got there. I don't know what that is. But... Ah. Right. 
Ah, oh well. But you get the idea. I, I've played something similar before. Alright. It's nice to have the, the reset buttons up top, but I can see where it would kind of, uh, if you accidentally pressed them. Uh, whale is next. Number three. Whale, look at that. Alright. This kind of reminds me of the submarine game. I didn't know whales possessed depth charges. Or, or little sea mines. Again, I'm using the turbo. There we go. Stage two. I could see this being a... Uh, have an end to it. Possibly. Maybe after ten stages. Okay. That was well. Fairy is a, another game. We'll check out here. See if we can get that uh, signal in. There we go. Fairy. All right. So we got here. All right. Cool. I don't want to run out of gas there at the bottom. I, I'm afraid to find out how this fairy is propelling um, in the air there with a gas meter. Interesting little side-scrolling shooter. I wonder if you do get any power-ups. There goes that gas. Just releasing it uh, into the air. Oh, there's triple shot. There we go. Alright, cool. Basic little side scroller, not bad. It's another game I wouldn't mind going through. And like I said, the D-pad feels pretty good on this. I really enjoy this D-pad. So that makes the games more in turn in turn makes the games more enjoyable. Alright, stage two. I can see this possibly having an ending as well. Alright, there we go. That was very, very good um, to play that. Number five is Through Lonely. Mm. Uh, emotional game. Through Lonely. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and check that game out. Alright, kind of like a... It gives off a little, um... Oh, I don't know. Gyrus vibe to it. Okay. Whoa, look, look at you, buddy. It's a good thing I got turbo on this thing. Ooh. It's hard to dodge the bullets there. Alright, stage two. Alright, there we go. Oh, well, it seems like a lot. So far, these games I've played have stages, so I feel like there's going to be endings to these after ten stages. That was through Lonely. Hmm. Final Fighter is next. Let's go ahead and check that out. Alright. Yeah. Alright, stage one. One and done. Oh, it's kinda like a maybe like a battle zone type of game. Alright, pretty cool, pretty cool. Like I said, this uh, the X button seems to be my turbo button. Y button as well. Because why not? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go through here. See if there's any. I don't see any radar. There we go. So you kind of just kind of have to guess.
and I'm sure this is like staged as well. After so many enemies, it might go to stage two. Alright, buddy. We got 2.4 seconds. cluster of them right here. Alright. We get that, I mean... Basically, I'm just pressing left and right, and it's only one button. The fire button. No missiles or anything. But there we go. Alright. That was Final Fighter. <clears throat> Butterfly is next. Let's see what uh, Butterfly has to offer us. Our butter oh, oh. Flutter by Butterfly. Right, here we go. Okay, I played something similar to this. It's just a different... Uh, different graphics, but I played something similar on the Lexi book and stuff, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, no. Again, Turbo helps gobs a lot. Not, nothing too hard. There we go. Alright, that was Butterfly. Interstellar is up next. Alright. Get that signal. There we go. Interstellar. Alright. Okay. Go to the Y Star. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Now, this is another game that kind of reminds you of Gradius. Or, I'm sorry, Gyrus, but just without the. Uh, a uh, circle of uh, enemies coming in via a circle. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I remember this game. Still very cool, though. Ah, goodness. It's very tough to figure out what are enemies and what are bullets. I wish they would have kind of um, defined that a little better, or, or differentiated that. It's the only thing about this particular game. All right, cool. Go to the R star. R. All right. Looks very fun. Promising. Promising. Number nine is mine, not yours, but mine. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to play this. Um, all right. All right, looks pretty interesting. Oh, Minesweeper. Okay. I was never that great at this game. All right. Just a quick game of mine. Pipe Link. I think we, I think I know what that game's going to be. Again, these are very similar to what I played before, but just different names. Pipe Link. Oh, press start there. Yeah, you just kind of link these pipes together. Um, trying to figure out if I can actually. I can't. Can I not turn these? No. Won't let me uh, turn them. It's only the bad part about this.
won't let you undo it but one time. Alright. Mm. I already messed that up royally. Uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> I'm just, at this point, I'm just kind of putting them wherever. It's almost kind of like a puzzle game. I mean, if you think about it. But, uh, let's see. Eh. Yeah, timeout. Timeout, yeah. Um, but that's that's uh, Pipe Link. Pretty good. Aether Puzzle is the next game up. Let's get that signal in. Aether Puzzle. All right. Aether Puzzle. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. This, uh, we definitely, I know what this is. Now, if it'll let me rotate it, can it let you rotate it? There we go. Again, this is a different uh, take on the uh, puzzle genre. Definitely played something like this before. Looks kind of like Tetris, doesn't it? <laughs> I just wish the pieces would go a little faster. Especially when you're racing against the time there. Plus, plus right here. Yeah, th this is very slow. <laughs> it's almost like you got to know what, ah, uh, you got to know what you want and where you want it. got this. Hopefully I've got this. Alright. We got we got this. Muy excelente. Um stage two. More of the same. Alright. I eat their puzzle. Difference picture. Um, I want to say that might be a uh, matching game. Yes! Difference picture. Alright, stage one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We got a time limit here. You know, this, um, it's, I want to say it's a little tougher. On a standard definition game like this, I mean, you can still tell, but it's it's a little a little rougher. Yeah. All right. Cool. High score four thousand. But you get the idea. I mean, it's almost better if it's a, it's one of the mouse click click mouse games. You're a little quicker, and it's not quite um, it's high def, you know. But that was still pretty cool. Difference picture. I might go through that again. Sleuth is next up. Let's try that. Oh, yes! Mm. Yes. Sleuth. Is this like a police dog Lacey? Yes. Just like police dog Lacey. Clearing the streets of uh, paraphernalia, illegal paraphernalia. 
In this case, the grass. All right. All right, there, sleuth. Oh, no. All right, let's get that. Oh, no. All right. See if we can find the last item. I was only half paying attention, I'll be honest with you. I'm getting close, I know I am. Can I make it? There we go, victory! All right. Making the world a little safer. That was sleuth all right tadpole is next we're gonna try that game tadpole oh yes mm. tadpole oh gotcha kind of have to guide these uh, little tadpoles for its sight a little twist on uh, a game I've played before. Kind of have to make sure you let them get get through. Don't let them die. So you got a lot going on there. You got to really pay attention. I don't know if the frogs. We'll eat the tadpoles. I don't know. That's uh, is that like a, being a cannibal or something? Uh, loose. Okay. There you go. Interesting tadpole. All right. Match cards. All right. Here we go. Oh. Simple match. Oh yeah. This is super simple. All right, this is yeah, a very simple game. Of course, I know there's going to be more cards the further you go. All right. Do one more level. Oh, the start button. There we go. All right, we're ready. All right. Easy. No problem there. Alright, clapping. Thank you, buddy, for applauding my good my good skills. Uh let's try Corsair. And we're not talking about the um I guess the curling irons and, and whatever else things Corsair makes. Alright. Corsair! Yeah. Quality. Love it. Stage one. Um, this is like a battleship type of thing. I played something similar. Oh. Ouch. I'm I'm guessing you have to move in a certain way. Fire your ship. Fire your cannonballs, whatever it is. Okay. Okay. All right. that or one. I guess I won. I'm on stage two. 
Okay. <laughs> Corsair. Fruit tree next up. Let's try what fruity trees we will find. Fruit tree. All right, start. Okay, what is this? Oh, yeah, okay. Is that right? I don't know. I'm kind of just going by the color here. Oh, there's the blue. I think that's the recycling. I don't know. Ah! Oh, man. Stage one. All right, I didn't do something right. But that was fruit tree. Played something similar. One by one. We are going to get these games knocked out. One by one. All right, let's try that out. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm hmm One by one. Uh, okay. All right. See here, stage one. Oh, it's the snake game. Okay, I, I didn't figure it out until I was already moving. Ah, let's do the uh, stair step. Okay, cool. All right. Excellent mascot. Yeah, I guess it's a cobra. One by one. The one by one cobra. He's uh, call him OBO for short. Alright, here's the stair steps. Alright. Alright, we get the idea. That's the snake game, basically. I'm eat my tail here. All right, it's one by one, folks. All right, let's try. Devildom Doom. Hmm, that does sound familiar as well. Devildom Doom. Okay. I will say this kind of looks like a um, hack of the... Um, Night Stalker plug and play from the Intellivision's plug and play. That's what it looks feels like to me. It looks like and feels like. Ah. Alright. Yeah. This is I believe this is Night Stalker. Ah, oh well. But uh, you get the idea here. Oh, wow. All right. Aquarium is next. Number 20, we'll go ahead and knock out maybe about five more. You know, get these, got to break them down into pieces. All right, Aquarium is next. All right. All right, cool. Ah, uh, yep. Eat delicious food. Avoid the landmines. Or rocks, whatever they are. Cheese, pizza. Oh, that sounds so good right now. Some pizza. Delicious food for a fish. Oh, yeah. Give me that slice. Great. All right. Oh, now getting, getting fatter. If you ever seen that uh, game Fast Food for Atari 2600? You eat so much food. <laughs> uh... Alright, getting those big hunks of cheese now. Mmm, 
That's a healthy fish. Send down the burgers now, and burgers and fries, maybe a, a burrito or two. Ah, game over. Oh well, but that's aquarium. Let's try angler fish. See what we got going on right there. Get that signal back in. There we go. All right, angler fish. Whoa. Okay, yeah, definitely played something like this before. Instead, it was like a little kid or whatever going through a maze, and you just got to make it to the end. Um, like a little uh, puzzle game, or not puzzle, but like a little. Uh, just got to find the exit. Ah. 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 I guess I could get that little clamshell. Oh, no. I think I just got turned around here. Ah! Well, time's about to run out. But there you go. You get the idea of that. It's a very similar game I played before, just a different, different graphics. All right, transmission. Let's uh, rebuild this game. All right, transmission. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, this, this is very similar. You gotta pick up the uh, ice cream cones here. Looks like you transport, teleport, as you, if you will. All right. Let's go here. Alright. The trick is just getting into the right teleporting teleporter. Alright, cool. Oh, man. Okay, that's where the D-pad kind of failed me there. Yes, I know why, too, because it's not letting me do diagonals. It's like when I press the diagonal button, it's not moving there. Oh, so this does not... It's not the controller's fault, it's the game's fault. Alright, when I press diagonals, it just goes to a standstill. So you have to be left, right, up, and down, so it's got to be pretty precise there. But that was Transmission. Adventurer see what we got going on here with adventure oh yeah yes. yes okay ah okay very similar plug and play or game I played on a different plug and plays Adventure. Oh. Ah. Here we go. There we go. And is that it? I know they keep popping up here. There we go. All right. Hey, yeah, there you go. That's adventure for you. All right. Aether Captor. Let's see what this game's about. And then we'll wrap it up with number 25. 
tonight. They're captured. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's, uh... Okay, so I am, um... I'm a helicopter, and I eat I eat smaller helicopters. Looks like looks like a fish game, like like the fish game. Okay, I got you. I don't know if I can eat rockets yet. Yep, I can eat that rocket's red glare. Um, I guess basically you just kind of keep eating the smaller ones so you grow into a bigger helicopter. Again, the D-pad's good here on this, uh... Alright, let's get that another, another rocket. We're definitely rocking it right now. Getting those delicious helicopters. Oh yeah, I'm morphing. Am I invincible? It's got a timer here. Let's see if... We'll try to... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was invincible or something. It's got like a little timer countdown, but... I guess avoid the uh, UFOs there, but it's kind of like the fish game where you start off small and then get eat the smaller ones until you grow bigger. All right, let's round out. Let's wrap up this uh, edition, part one, with Super Mexica. Super Mexica. Mexica. Okay. Let's try that. Super Mexica. Or Mo. It says Mojica on this one. But, uh, oh yeah, hmm, future, a future, um, mascot again. All right, I played this before. Rocking a mohawk there. Oh, wow. Past it like that. Oh, cool. Hey, how about that? All right, we got this. Well, all kinds of hazards there, buddy. All right, there we go. That was. Let's see if I can. Is this a warp zone here? I oh, can't do nothing there. But you get the idea. I mean. I played something similar to this definitely before. Oh wow, it's like the electricity there. So you gotta really be careful of the hazards on this. It's hard to see. It's hard to see some of these hazards. But uh, and eh, let's see if I can get this. Finish this level up. Uh, ow! Oh wow! Ow! <laughs> But there we go. That was Super Mexica. Mexica something. Um, but there you go. That's part one of this plug and play. Uh, very interesting. Controller feels pretty good. Feels really good. I like it. Um, so far, the games <clears throat> are very similar to what I played before, but again, they got different graphics and a different name. But uh, interesting. Join me for part two. We're going to take a look at uh, 25 more games. We got 121 in all, so uh, we're going to get this knocked out. Take care, everybody. I will see you next time. Continuing coverage and documenting all these plug and plays. See you again next time.